Video 32, battery packs. Well, this 12-volt pack you might recognize. It was one that was used for testing uh, with a high-power load recently, and um, it worked out pretty well. So the way this pack goes together, it's, it's basically made up of two plates. This is a, a smaller version of it, but this is the full size. Uh, the four slits you see, that's the lower plate. The tabs come up through that, two tabs per slit, so it'll be, it, would, uh, it, it would be eight cells that would touch this, each of these plates. So it'll be four minus and four plus tabs. Uh, the tabs come up through and get folded over, as you can kind of see in this one. And once it's folded in place, uh, I use a, a pair of uh, vice grips to uh, take and clamp them together and really seal those plates together, then uh, lock them together with uh, a bunch of screws that are uh, into the tap holes. And then this uh, other plate right here, the L-shaped plate, is for the end terminal. You can see just one on this uh, test battery. So that's the way they go together. I, I stand them all up, put the tabs through, and then wrap them with some heat shrink tape. That's what this tape is all about. It's a high strength and it shrinks about 20% when you uh, heat it up with a 300 degrees of, uh, of, uh, of hot air. Um, so that works out pretty good, holds the pack nice and tightly and that's of course once this pack is done then it goes into uh, the cases that you've seen previously. Uh, I now actually have three packs done. These are each uh, 40 volt packs. Um, I just set them to the car this morning so they'll get wired in uh, in the next few days. Uh, I need to start working on the BMS. You can see I picked up an Orion uh, battery management system. So this is one of the cables that will tie into uh, all the, the cell taps. So I got to work on that next, get the BMS uh, hooked up and I'll integrate it into the car for uh, the various safety uh, controls and whatnot. Uh, additionally, I've been working on another little piece that's going to be um, the sound system for the car. It's uh, a little product out of uh, Europe called Sound Racer EV. Uh, I think this is one of the early, early versions. Um, I don't think he's quite in production yet, but he's ready to go with him, so I managed to get him to sell me a unit. And I'll hook it up here so you can see how it works. Uh, I've got a little PB6 pot box hooked up, so uh, we'll use that for the, the, the throttle. And uh, hook up to my little 12 volt uh, test battery here. And a couple of uh, multimedia speakers over here on the shelf. I hope you can hear the sound okay on this phone. So I'm going to take and uh, run the throttle up a little bit and we can hear the car go. So that's going to work out pretty nicely. I'll have that tied right in with the uh, Right in with the regular throttle, it'll be a separate throttle, so I won't uh, tie it electrically, just mechanically. And uh, those multimedia speakers are going to sit down inside. Underneath the front end here, we get a little bit of room behind the, the radiator area. And um, so we'll have uh, real engine sound when we hit the throttle. So it should be kind of fun. Um, that's about it for today. Should have a wheel spin off these uh, 120 volts here shortly.